next is um, a couple of budget presentations. Mr. Giuliano, I guess we have uh, academics, facilities, and then the whole enchilada. That's correct. All right, it's all you. So, first up, uh, Dr. Joyce Boley uh, to discuss the academics budget. Well. Okay, good evening, everyone. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to share the uh, proposed budget for the academics department for next school year. Uh, we have seven departments in the um, academic area, and I'd like to just give you a broad uh, oversight over some of the requests that are in the budget for each of the areas for next school year. The details are in your packet. Uh, in the social studies department, um, we're requesting funding for History Alive, which is an online leveled learning platform for <coughs> grades six and seven, which will be replacing their current textbooks. This would be a six-year subscription. We're also requesting funding for uh, books to expand the social studies literacy uh, program in all grade levels. Uh, periodicals are in this budget, K to seven, which will help the teachers instruct the students and keep uh, learning uh, alive around their current events. Also, we have a new course provo proposed next school year, AP World History. So in this budget, uh, there's the textbook for that course. We also have some history experiences included. Uh, fourth grade, the Lenape Lifeways in eighth grade, the Right to Dream. Uh, for our US-1, the New American, which ties in with their immigration unit, and US-2 through the eyes of a friend, which ties in with the unit on the Holocaust. The math department is requesting geometry and Algebra 1 subscriptions with online access for teachers and students. The language arts department is uh, requesting funding to expand and keep current with our classroom libraries, uh, reading units of study from the teacher's college to, to provide a copy for each teacher, K to seven. Uh, in the practical arts department, we are requesting funding to support the databases and other electronic resources uh, to support all 11 of our media centers. The science department, first robotics club, we uh, need to pay the entrance fee and the other registration fees involved there. Uh, we're looking for funding for the next generation science standards, the kits for kindergarten, which support the New Jersey learning standards. The kits are materials in motion. We're also looking for a few textbooks, AP Biology, the copyright date on that is 2008, Honors Physics, the copyright is 2002, and we do have a new course starting next year, Environmental Science, which will be a full year lab elective, and we're looking for startup costs for that course, including the textbook. Also included in this budget are the expenses for the Fairview trip, which include room, board, program expenses, and transportation. Uh, chemical disposal, the biology and chemistry classes uh, generate chemical waste, and we do need to dispose of that appropriately. Uh, we're looking to um, uh, annual preventative maintenance on the microscopes in the biology program. Rocketry in fifth grade, uh, this enriches the physical science unit. Uh, also, the Explore Learning Gizmos lab simulation software in grades six through 11. And again, nonfiction books for that connection with the literacy. Uh, in the fine and performing arts department, this budget includes funding for transportation for district musical and dramatic en ensembles and for the students to attend festivals and competitions and performances, as well as expanding and keeping our equipment current. And finally, in the World Language Department, uh, this budget does include funding for uh, document translation services, classroom supplies, grades six through 12, uh, subscriptions to online magazines and authentic materials to support the instruction, and uh, an AP French textbook. All right. Questions, that, Mrs. Shaw. Mm -hmm. um, one of the items that's tentatively approved is uh, nineteen thousand dollars for uh, administration of the PSAT to tenth grade students and eligible eleventh graders. Mm -hmm. um, this, of course, is something that we did not always pay for out of our general budget. 
and I'm trying to think how long we've been doing this now, probably about four, three or four years. But I'm just wondering if, um, you know, we've taken a look at what we've done and tried to determine uh, how has this benefited the district to be the administrator of this exam. And in light of the fact that we talk about our kids being over-tested, um, is this something that we want to continue to do? Or do we wait and find out what's going to happen to the park exam before we stop doing this? I mean, I know there's a lot of factors involved mm -hmm. in this, but, um, you know, we talk about wanting to, you know, uh, benchmark our successes, and so I think it's important for us to look at, at items like this uh, that are relatively new and see if they're mm -hmm. uh, doing what we hoped. Mm -hmm. I agree with you. I think going forward, we definitely do need to take a look at that. I do think having the early data on student success is helpful for not only the student and child for their planning, but for the teachers as well. But, um, you know, at this cost, we'd have to take a look at whether or not it's valuable for us moving forward. This is the PSAT. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Any other questions or comments? You're off the hook. Okay, thank, thank you. you.